In this video, I want to share with you uh, what I learned yesterday. Okay, um, there is a new new thing. Okay, it's it's in the it's in the title right now. Let me switch over. Okay, it's it's about. Let me point. It's about importing SRT file into Final Cut Pro X. Yep, I did an editing on Final Cut Pro X yesterday and um, uploaded it to YouTube. And we know that YouTube does automatic captioning, right? Automatically captions. So I want to upload this video into other social media platforms with the captions burned in. Okay, right now, if you can see my Final Cut Pro X, I already have a title track up here the purple the purple one and below the blue track is are, are my video clips okay they are, they are already nicely edited the other blue track here below is the audio okay it's a very 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 simple video okay audio in front and audio at the back okay then video clips in the middle and on top are the captions all right. Take a look at what I mean. Let me let me play back from the beginning. Look what I've got from the mailbox. A catalog from P and H. Okay, you saw over here. Let me enlarge so that you can see clearly. Let's close this window. All right. And let's close this. Okay. All right, you can see over here a caption. Look what I've got. The mailbox. Look what I've got from the mailbox. A catalog from B and H. Okay. And that is this title clip over here. All right? And there are a whole series of other clips. Okay, the purple one. Okay, the thing is I didn't type them in okay i didn't type them in it's very very tedious you see there for every sentence there is a start and an end start and end okay for every two lines so the thing is i didn't type them in okay i have a caption file created automatically and then i import into here and the caption file is is the as, it's an SRT file, okay, as, as the main implies, SRT file. And um, again, this SRT file is created automatically. After I edit the video, I put this video into a software, and this software will listen, will listen to the voice and translate it using a speech-to-text technology, and then and then create the caption file okay with, with exact timing like what what you see here okay exact timing and all i have to do is to grab that caption file and put it into this edit okay for those who already know what's srt okay bear with me because i'm trying to explain to the beginner what what i'm doing i'm putting caption into my video and captions can be created in the form of SRT file right so <clears throat> to keep it simple I'm gonna start from the beginning okay I'm gonna delete my caption right in front of you okay press wait press delete okay it's gone Okay, step one, I have a file, I have a, I have a video, okay, I have a video, I have a video project completed, right, from the beginning to the end, and then, like any other software, I export my video, okay, I've already done that, I've exported my video, and, uh, after exporting, what do I do? 
I put it onto, I upload it to YouTube. Okay, let's take a look at my YouTube channel. I upload it to YouTube into my channel, the very same channel that you're watching this video right now if you're watching it on YouTube live. Okay, over here. I have already uploaded the video. Okay, and once you upload, just wait for a few minutes, wait for a few minutes, and YouTube will listen to my voice to create the subtitle, right? I didn't type all this in. Okay, these subtitles, I didn't type in. YouTube created the text. Okay, I'm in my own channel, so I can edit the video. I'm going into the caption tool. Okay, right now the caption tool is over here it's called subtitles cc closed caption okay click on it i've already done some work okay what it did was create an english automatic caption that means it listens to my voice let me click on it it listened to my voice and and come up with what it thought i spoke so this is what this is the automatic caption They send this all the way to Singapore from New York. Let's open it up. Oh, it says, please let us... Okay, it looks good, right? Because, because the robot is near perfect. But of course, there's, there's some mistakes, like um, over here. Um, okay, I can't fast forward. I have to go into... Okay, let me just go over here. Okay, and look at here. Canon, Sony, look at the Sony. Okay, there's no comma. And the Sony here is a small s. So you still have to do some manual editing. Okay, how to do it? Just click on edit over here. Okay, I'll do another video on this if you want me to show you how to do it. But I'm just showing you a shortcut now. I click edit video here. And start editing whatever you think you have to change right like capital s put a comma between here put a full stop here okay what i've done i've already edited this that's why if you see under subtitle tool there is another one called without the bracket automatic this is the edited version let me click on it there you go if you can see the same the same phrase just now I've already added in uh, ellipses here, dot dot dot, Canon comma, Canon uh, Sony ellipses, and, and I capitalized Sony Alpha A9. Okay, just click edit and go in here and change the text. Simple as that, right? After editing, you save, and then the, you want the caption. If you notice, YouTube has already nicely place each or uh, each sentence or each phrase into perfect timing from beginning to the end right you can see the timing over here okay to, to, to match the audio okay the voice audio so you can see all the timing it, it's it's already perfectly done you can go in and change the timing also during the edit but um, that will waste a lot of time what we are trying to say what, what you're trying to do is save time okay let the robot do it Okay, the robot has already listened to my voice and you corrected the robot minor changes actually in, in, in honesty i would change the timing also but for for shortcut sake we don't change we won't change the timing okay the next thing is to download the caption file okay all you have to do is click on action here under download okay there there, there are a few Original format here means the SBV file. Okay, there's also VTT and SRT. SRT is one of the more simple, more universal uh, caption format. Okay, I, I do SRT for, for, for clients to use on their Amazon Video Direct. Okay, they sell videos on Amazon and they need, they must do subtitle files and Amazon only accepts SRT files. So 
this one on the commonly accepted file, right? Very simple. So you just click on it, right? And it supposedly it downloads, right? And I have already already downloaded it. Okay, let me let me search for it. Okay, where did I download? You know what? I think I've created a mess. Let me check. Let me check. I hope the file is here. Because before I came on here, okay, it's still not a mess. Right. Once you download it as a file, okay, let me download again. Okay, I created a mess. Right. Let's. Download it once more. Oh, where is it? Okay, there you go. So I've downloaded a couple. Let me show you. It's not showing up. Okay, but it's over here. I can see it here. Okay, I'm going to bring up here. Okay, you can see now. Yep, it's downloaded as a caption SRT file. Caption SRT file. Now, in Premiere Pro and in most other software, we can just import the SRT file into the editing software and that's it. We got our captions. But there's a problem with, um, with Final Cut Pro. Okay, I cannot import SRT files. Okay, if you look, in Final Cut Pro now, we can only export or import these few items. Okay, and caption is not one of the items. Okay, it's it's a more specialized format. So for a common SRT file, we need to convert it into an XML file, right? XML file. So to do that, very simple. We don't need any other complicated software. We don't need to install anything. That's the main thing of this video. This is a very straight shortcut. Okay, let me go into go into Google Chrome. This is the whole point of this video. Okay, this shortcut. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll put this link in the description below, and you can just click. Click on it, right? It's Resolver Tools, sub simple. Okay, what it does is it's a free program that converts SRT subtitle files into an FCP XML file, right? It's a program, but you don't have to download anything. All you need to do is scroll down and then over here, just say I want SRT to FCP XML, select. What kind of time code? I want 25 because that's that's my video. It's, it's, just look at the other selection, right? My video is 25 frames per second. Font, even the font they have already done for you. Select Arial, and then um, right. That's it. The rest on the change, and I just say Chai. open. You can just wait for a few seconds, and you will notice something right just wait oh, oh wait 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 I forgot I must click send file okay click on send file okay now wait for a few seconds let's see how many seconds you, you can count okay it's waiting there you go you look at the bottom just a few seconds less than a minute it it Downloads. In fact, I don't have to give them my email. Nothing. Straight away, it downloads an FCP XML file. Okay, let's let's go take a look at it. Okay, so over here, I'm gonna lift it up. This is my file explorer. You see, from SRT, it converts to FCP XML file under the same file name. So the next thing we need to do is to go back to our Final Cut Pro. And then we 
go and import an XML file. Okay, it's under my download folders. There you go. The rest are grayed out. You can only import an XML file. And when you click on it, and then you import. All right, I've already imported, so I can I'll cancel it. And once you import, okay, you see something like a project folder. Looks like that. And you click on it, double click, and you'll see this timeline. Not this one, sorry. You'll see this. Okay, let me double click on it. Okay, there you go. You'll see this timeline with all the captions there, right? You can see these are individual text clips. Okay, the, the individual text clips with, with um, all the text. Okay, let me put the cursor there. With all the text typed out by YouTube. Okay, the YouTube robot. Okay, so you can see each individual text has got different timings. Some are longer, some are shorter. It depends on the phrase. So all we need to do is just simply copy. All right, copy and go back to your project file and paste it over it. Okay, paste it. Okay, so it pasted over my... Okay, and let me bring the whole thing to the top. Okay. There! My project is below, and now my subtitle is on top. Okay, and then you play back. The thing about Black Magic products is that it detects mainly 1080i video format, interlaced scanning format. Can you see the title over here? So we've imported an XML file, or rather SRT file converted to XML file file and into the project okay but beware there's there's something that I discovered okay if you look if you look carefully if you, if you just read the subtitles over here look what I've got from the mailbox a catalog from B it's supposed to be B and H okay the XML file deleted the NH I believe the NH is like a, a code which cannot be converted into text. So like any other regular text, just click on it, go into here, and change it, right? Change it, B and H. Just like editing a text clip. You can also change the font, change the font size. Okay, if the line is too long, you can break it into two. You can even change the timing over here if you want. Okay, and that's it. Very easy. Importing SRT file into FCPX, right? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Or if you, have, if you know any other shortcut, please share. Leave it in the comments below. And um, in this channel you're watching right now is the Adrian Lee channel where, where I go live and test my live streaming. What you're seeing right now is a test. I put my face in this little left-hand side and the software on the other side. Okay, and title on top. Okay, later on this one will have a caption which will go to that space below. Okay, this is all an experimental. This channel is my live streaming experiment channel okay what i'm looking out for is lip sync and audio quality okay just for your knowledge i'm recording this with my macbook pro uh, i'm using an iphone headset as the mic okay and uh, the streaming is done using uh, obs Oh gosh, I just realized I'm not recording. I'm streaming but not recording. Okay, this is something I have to remember. Okay, so again, if you have more questions, 